All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushua, Bashem, Rakakadash. That's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the Lashwan Kadash, in the Paleo Hebrew, um, the, the Holy Tongue, uh, the Ancient Hebrew. Uh, Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father. And or the most high and Yahweh means he is, he is to be, he exists. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shah is who the world ignorantly calls uh Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shah means he is the savior, he is the deliverer. Bahashem in the name. Rakakadash means the Holy Spirit. We want to give a double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to you, Akim, to you brothers that's pushing this word throughout the four corners of broad with truth and sincerity. And shalom to the Akim, Wa Athwat. Peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters that may be tuning and studying and learning under the vibration of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Uh, we two brothers out of the GMS Boston camp back with a quick lesson through the spirit on the brothers' house of war. And uh, we don't really have nothing. And jot it down We're just going to flow through the spirit And uh, the days are, that are coming are, are times of trouble As according to Jeremiah The 30th chapter You know Jacob's trouble And we can just see all the news articles That what's happening You know in uh, RT Or what's going on around the world You know this is it's a time That's coming that the Lord uh, a promise for us to be on the lookout for, you know, and we say us is the servants, the prophets, you know, the Lord that gave us the eyes, house, blesses our eyes to see and blesses our hair that we can uh, hear uh, these things coming, man. And, and these things are, you know, wars, rumors of wars, uh, earthquakes in diverse places, sedition among men, civil unrest, uh, the the uh, man mandate of the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, you know, this upcoming uh, mandate of this uh, liquid water that they're trying to uh, have uh, people take or you won't be able to, you know, uh, work, buy, sell. You won't be able to be a, a, a common citizen. That's the devil coming down with great wrath. See, these are the things that's coming to to the world, and we're here to, again to report on it. The Lord told us to be. A, he set us and made us watchmen to the house of Israel, you know, to uh, and speak uh, 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 to the house of Israel prophecy and give them warning from Him, you know. So the, the times that are embarking ahead of us are going to be some. Uh, evil tribulation, some hard times, and you know we're here to uh, give you that message. So it's time to repent. And you Israelites are the only ones that can repent. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because uh, this this word is on, is given to you. You know, you got anything, bro? Uh, I got Isaiah, Isaiah 62 verse six. Yeah. Isaiah 62 verse six. Yep. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. We shall never hold our peace day nor night. Ye that be mission of the Lord keep not silence and give him the rest to be established in Silomek Jerusalem for praise on the earth. Yeah, our watchmen, the Lord uh, have ordained us, and this is our main duty. Our job is to prophesy to the house of Jerusalem or the children of Israel, you know, and we make mention of the Lord, and we're not going to stop until these prophecies are fulfilled and we're delivered on a chariot until all these plagues come upon the earth. You know, we're rolling out the red carpet for the Heavenly Father. We're pushing that vibration on the world of righteousness, of uh, our, our Lord and Savior, the true depiction, you know, the true gospel, and this is why you see things happening around the world, you know, as the, as the scriptures say in Revelation, the seventh chapter, after once the elect are sealed, then, you know, the angels that's holding back the four winds of the earth are going to release it and, and there come chaos and destruction and the plagues. You know, as according to Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, the Lord said he's going to bring plagues upon the earth, the sword, the famine and death and destruction. So in the more, more uh, the, uh, the election are getting sealed, this is when all uh, chaos is going to break loose. Mm -hmm. Come, come. Yeah, come, come. Come. And this, the reason why we're constantly pushing this word is because we're we're not gonna we're not gonna uh, let up. You know these prophecies are, are, are hasn't uh, fully been fulfilled yet. You know, but we can see it because we can see the uh, the the government coming with mandates. You can see them being prepared to usher usher in this new world order agenda, man. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the time we're in, man. Because like um. Uh... Like we're always saying, all hell is about to break close. The very foundation of America, the structure of America is breaking up. And 
what what you see what you see happening right now is uh the house of Israel is being divided. Mm. You know, the Republican and the Democrats, the the vaccinated and the unvaccinated, the liberal and the conservative. So Israel's house is being divided. And you know before a kingdom can be taken down, guess what? It has to be divided. God. And we know the vision the vision is a tactic of war. Yeah. You know, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yosha is a man of war. So just like you see, these devils are being divided. It's a time to go down. That's and right. there's nothing you can do about it to prevent prophecy from actually coming to pass. You know? Yeah, kind of got something about Matthew 12, verse 25. Matthew uh, 12, verse 25. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation mm -hmm. and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand yeah every devout every house divided against itself shall not stand you know the house of esau is being divided in cities right goes into america's right because america has more cities and states you know the the, the you have those uh bible belt states you know the the, the southern states yeah they very uh so-called religious they're not gonna accept the deadly water they're yeah. gonna fight to for now to, to keep the, the so-called freedom going, man. Yeah, kind of. And uh, they're also fighting for their First and Second Amendment, mm -hmm. you know. With this whole New World Order, they're trying to, you know, put that deadly waters in everybody, but they're also trying to remove uh, firearms, you know. And again, like the brother mentioned, these uh, the Bible Belt, you know, those that feel like, you know, they can uh, have the right to bear arms, they don't want the government's... Uh, uh, confiscating or seizing their weapons man mm -hmm. so this is what's also going to lead to sedition and uproars of the people you know but real quick uh 20 verse 26 mm -hmm. and if satan cast out satan he is divided against himself how sh how shall then his kingdom stand yeah because like i was saying just like the lord yeah how has a chosen people sin also sin as well has a chosen people you know they, these are the edomites man okay. so esau is a physical counterpart of a uh, spiritual demon saying here on earth man no, so so a hey, the, the sin house is divided, man. That's right. And now it's a time to go down, and there's there's not a goddamn thing they can do about it. Esau can have laws and legislation to come after us because uh, the gospel, this doctrine that we're pushing, is against his agenda. That's is right. against his establishment. So. Uh, pretty soon we're gonna be hated. We're gonna be chased out. They're gonna come after us because uh, because we are causing people to to wake think, up, to think outside the box, to yeah. wake up, and we are a threat. These devils they know that they can have the world order uh, uh, fully established uh, uh, if us if we understand, man. So they're gonna come after us. But that's not right. prophecy. Yeah, this is all an uh, indicator of a, a sign that their uh, kingdom is falling. You know, they have division among themselves. There's a, a huge. A mass of uh, 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 people, mainly the Israelites, that are waking up, mm -hmm. you know, and they were in power by also keeping us uh, uh, lost in the sauce, mm -hmm. you know. And this is why they're gonna come down having great wrath, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, because they know that they have a short time. Mm -hmm. They're they're not having a, a lot of influence with the with the lies, the news, the 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 the, the deception through the media. So now they're gonna come with their with their quote unquote blessing that. Uh, Isaac gave them, you know, which is that sword. They're gonna come down with with, with great wrath, as the scripture says. Mm -hmm. uh, Revelation 12 verse 12. They will fall rejoice the heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devils come down unto you, having great wrath, because you know that he had but a short time. Yep. And now the devil again is Esau Edom, man, the so-called white man. He's the deceiver. He's the accuser of thy brethren. He's the one that's adversary to righteousness, to the Lord and to the Bible, to the scriptures, through righteousness. And like the brother mentioned, hey, uh, before they can establish their new world order agenda, they're going to have to remove the prophets off the streets, man, and move their content off the internet. This is why they're going to come with that witchcraft, with that, with that, that the media, with that lies and, and uh, persecute us, you know, Know, tell her that we're uh, uh, radicals, we're extremists. we're extremists, we're pushing hate, you know, hate speech, uh, m medical misinformation, you know, ultimately because they don't want to be exposed and they want to fulfill their agenda, so they have to remove us, and they're going to come down, again, door to door uh, uh, with that great wrath, man, killing, uh, putting people into uh, prison, uh, FEMA camps, you know, without their own will. This soon is going to be martial law and our civil unrest here in America, man. Come on, this is uh, Revelation 12, verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, mm -hmm. which keep the commandment of Yahweh and have the testimony of Yahweh Shachmashiach. The dragon is who? The 
dragon is Esau in his system, right? Mm -hmm. These devils, they're gonna make war with who? With the, the elect of our people, the elect of the nation of Israel, so called black Hispanics in the American. Because Esau knows, man, his time is up, man. He knows that like, his rulership is at an end. So he's not willing to bow down. He's not willing to accept je uh, destiny. He's gonna fight to keep his lives, to keep his uh, uh, kingdom going. But it's all in it's all for no so no reason it's all uh, for for no effort because uh, the will of the Lord gonna prevail. This is, the scripture says of Second Ezra six verse nine, for Esau is the, the end of the end world, of world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. So it's already been written out. There's nothing this devil can do to 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 change the mind of Yahweh Shemeshah, man. And that's why these devils are mad, man. They can see their kingdom going down and they feel like they're not gonna allow. They feel in their mind. In their sick, twisted mind, you know, these devils, they're not gonna allow niggas to rule over them. <laughs> That's right. That's how they feel, man. That's right. You wanna get second Ezra 16 yeah, and 68? Come. Yeah, because we talk about how, again, they, they have but a short time, and this is why they're gonna come down with that great wrath. And they, their main target is to remove you Israelites off the face of the earth, man. And Israelites that know that they're Israelites are our targets, and Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, if you don't even, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Call yourself by that if you think you're pro black, Asiatic black man, Muslim, you know, uh, a five percenter, or just a normal uh, African American, you know, mm -hmm. even if you go into their colleges and stuff, mm -hmm. hey, they're gonna come down at, with at you because it's, it's ultimately it's Jacob's trouble. They hate you. They're gonna show their horns and and they're going to remove you so they can establish that uh, new world order agenda, man. Come on, so Second Ezra sixteen verse sixty eight. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you with with idol things off unto idols. That's right. Yep. And this is talking about um uh, Jacob's trouble, martial law. You know mm -hmm. that wrath that's coming upon the, the earth, man. And this is Esau Edom that's going to be initiating this wrath, man. Come And they that consent unto them shall he had in derision mm -hmm. and approach and shot in the foot. And that's exactly what it is, right? This devil, he's trying to uh, stick you with that deadly water. If you consent, if you give in, you're going to be in it for a road awakening, man. You're going to be found to be uh, confused. That's right. Because this devil, he make it seem like he's here to help you. Meanwhile, he has a agenda. He wants to kill you, man. Yeah, that, that's why we tell you, never, as the scripture says, never trust thy enemy, man. Mm -hmm. Your enemy is these heathens, man. Esau, Edom, man. And this, this is why he's pushing, again, this taking the deadly waters, whether it's on sports, music, uh, cartoons, everything. It's everywhere, man. He's pushing this agenda for a reason. And when he's, when he's, when this thing is highly commercialized, you can't trust it, man. And he's really targeting you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So we're here to tell you not to, to take heed. But they know there's going to be a resistance. And this is why they're going to come down with that great wrath, man. Uh, this is uh, for, uh, for there shall be in every place mm -hmm. and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Yeah, you go into that definition of insurrection, that's a violent uprising. But we know Esau is going to have that violent uprising against... Um, uh, uh, the men of the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and they're gonna come down with that wrath, man. They're gonna go to your house, to, as, the, as it's gonna say, man. It's gonna take you out your houses. They can, they may kill you right on the spot, or force you and bring you to a FEMA camp. And, and if you don't uh, uh, take heed, or you don't submit to their agenda, with is the chip, or you know the deadly waters. Hey, you may be uh, fined, uh, put in jail, or you may be put to death, man. It says, uh, for they shall be like madmen, sparing none, mm. but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. That's right. And that's plain and simple. They're going to be like madmen, go out guns blazing. They're going to be psychopaths, man. And they're not going to be uh, 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 sparing none of you Israelites, man. They hate you. They're going to show that perpetual hatred. The Lord's going to put a spirit on them to show this is why you should have never trust them in the first place, mm -hmm. man. God, because these devils, they're going to show you. You're going to know that Esau the devil in that day, man. That's right. It says, uh, it says uh, for, their, for they shall waste and take away the goods and cast them out of the houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. Mm. They shall be tried as gold in the fire. Yes, for they shall waste and take, take away the their goods. goods and cast them out of their houses. You know, you know, waste is like killing, destroying, mm -hmm. destruction. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it, it, this is actually forcing people out of their homes, as it says, man. Mm -hmm. So this is why you no freedom. Then they're, they're not, they're not here to uh, 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 
to let you abide by freedom, man. You gotta uh, uh, listen to them. You gotta abide by what they say, or, or and submit to them. And if you don't, hey, you may lose your house, your goods, your foods. You know, your all your your so-called quote-unquote assets. Mm. You know, they're here to spoil, man. You know, and ultimately they're gonna. Um, Go against again, you Israelites, man. The main target is you Israelites, and we could tell through what the Rex eighty four, King Alfred, King's plan. Alfred's plan, uh, what's Project the, Megiddo, Project, Project Megiddo. Hey, these all have these are uh, uh, plans that they have in legislation or they have um, executive orders mm. to target you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. It's already in the in what the it, in the book, man. That's those are the unrighteous decrees that Esau already has uh, prepared for you, uh, for you uh, Israelites, man. Come on. It says, Lord, this shall, it says, Lord, then shall they be known who are my chosen. Yeah. They shall be tried as gold in the fire. Yeah, those that's going to be tried, the Lord's going to find a way out for them to be delivered, man. And it's going to look like a miracle for those that's not paying attention, those that don't know, you know, because most people are going to be in sorrow. They're going to be anguished, crying bitterly for all this evil, and, and they're going to be confused. They're not going to be stable. But the Lord's going to have some, some of the elect, you know, go through, you know, these uh, FEMA camps brought into, you know, in front of their, their kings and princes. It's going to look like a, a, a miracle when the Lord delivers the elect out of uh, out of this trouble, man. Because we know, as the scripture says, you know, the Lord is going to, um, was not going to forsake his servants, man. And when you continue reading down, you know, the Lord's saying, hey, this, this time of trouble is coming. Don't be afraid because the Lord's going to hold up his end of the his bargain, man. That's right. Um, the Lord is reliable. Yep. You know, when the Lord got your back, there's nothing to fear. Huh. You know, he's gonna have his hedge around you, his angels. A matter of fact, the Lord says in, in Daniel 12 chapter, that's gonna send Michael the archangel to look after the elect man. That's right. That's how bad, that's how chaotic, that's how destructive the day of Yahweh Hashim is going to be. Yeah, they say that time is like no other, man. It's gonna make, you know, war, all these war wars look like uh a piece of cake. Slavery is gonna make 9-11, all these type of um uh, what do you call it? Uh, events, events, yeah. but that were ho horrific, horrific, terrorist type, horrendous, you know, horrendous events is gonna be all wrapped in one when the Lord bring these plays, and then that Jacob's trouble is only set. It's it's specifically set for you Israelites to go through that trouble because ultimately two thirds of our people got to be cut off and die, but but of one third those chosen that's gonna be tried in the fire that gold, you know, they're gonna be uh, 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 delivered, man, you know. Yeah. Uh, verse 74 Here, O ye my beloved, said the Lord, you know, the house of David, yep. the elect, right? Uh, says, uh, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. So the days of trouble is synonymous with Jacob's trouble. Yep. With great tribulation. That's a right. Time like no, a time like no order since there was a nation. Yeah, when it says days of trouble are at hand, it means it's it's it's, it's up and coming, man. Mm -hmm. It's 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 near, you know, it's at the door. It's soon to come. Yep. Uh, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver from the same. Be not afraid. Neither doubt for Yahweh by is your guide and the God of them who keep my commitment and precepts of the Lord. Yeah, so the time of trouble is coming, but the Lord is giving you a way out, and the way out is through Yahweh, man. Yahweh by Shimei He mm -hmm. is the way, He is the truth, the, the, the truth, life. and He's the light, man. And if you seek Him, you found life, man. And this is why we're here to tell you. Uh, uh, seek the Lord while he may be found, man. Repent ye and be converted, man. Mm -hmm. That yeah. your sin may be blotted out. That's right, mm -hmm. man. Uh, it says, And the God of them who keep my commitment and precepts of the Lord, let not your sin would you down, and let, your, and let not your iniquity lift up themselves. Yeah, these is... Uh, these, See, the trouble gives you that suspense of, oh, like, woe is me. Like how Ezra was saying, woe is me, woe is me. But then these last three verses, hey, don't worry. Right. Don't worry. Just put all your burdens on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Have faith in him, and he's going to deliver you. It's going to be the ultimate um, underdog uh, uh, story, man. It's going to be a miracle, for real, for real. Like, it's going to be, like the brother mentioned, he has to send uh, uh, the archangel uh, Michael to, to, to deliver us, man, and help us, man. That's how chaotic it's going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how, out of this world, man. This thing going to be, right? You're going to have angels walking around humans being you That's know right. That's something you know. That's something you see in the movies, man. That's right. No, huh. uh, so Revelation two verse ten, fear none of those things. Revelation two verse ten, yep. fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That's right. That ye may be tried, and ye shall be, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. 
be thou faithful unto death, and I'll give thee a quarter of life. That's right. So yes, even even the elect are going to be cast into prisons, and we know according to Revelation the twentieth chapter, verse the fourth verse, you know John the Revelator seen also uh, a, a, a selection of men that were beheaded for the truth, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So hey, this is what. The words of inspiration is or, or, or the comfort is to know that If you go through these troubles You'll be brought to prison Just endure Suffer until the end Have faith And don't waver Don't slack Don't lose patience On Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai You know Then he'll give you A crown of life man Wow, wow. Yeah, so that was just a quick lesson through the spirit, man. We pray everything was edifying. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Akakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well again and taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to the Bayaf that would die. That's the house of David, the elect. Until next time, we want to say, I don't want Ratazah, which means Lord willing. Shalom. Shalom.